In 2021, during the height of the pandemic, COVID numbers were high, masks were a new norm, and the vaccine was given across the country. For military members, they were required to take the COVID-19 shots. Some asked for religious exemptions, and dozens of Navy SEALs filed a lawsuit against President Biden, the Department of Defense, and other military leaders. This case has been going since November of 2021. They emphasized religious freedom and how the policy caused adverse action in their careers, including involuntary separation, removal from promotion, and loss of special pay. As the case dragged on in 2023, Biden ended the vaccine mandate. But while the legality of enforcing a vaccine became moot, the Navy SEALs who filed the case say the damage was already done. Fast forward to today at the federal courthouse in Fort Worth. Today was a, a great victory. The judge issued an order on the record approving the settlement. First Liberty Institute, an organization that defends religious liberty, filed the lawsuit. Their attorney, Danielle Runyon, says the settlement is a win, protecting more than 4,300 Navy service members. Those who refuse the vaccine for religious reasons can now have their records cleared so it won't impact their careers. We reached out to the White House and the Department of Defense for a comment on the settlement but haven't heard back. In a memorandum from January 2023, the Secretary of Defense, while rescinding the mandate, said no one serving will be separated based on their refusal of the COVID-19 vaccine if they sought religious accommodations. While Runyon considers this case a win, some members of the Navy say it's not enough. In court documents, one objected. He said, during my period of separation, I had to take out many loans totaling $76,000. He believes the settlement is the government's way of washing their hands of the situation. So while this case is closed, it is likely individuals will seek legal action for their unique stories. I'm Tiffany Liu.